Janet Green and my company, DOC Solar and Electrical, install renewable energy solutions. One of the most common questions I'm asked is how much energy will my solar PV system generate? The answer can be given in the calculation shown below. This can be confusing for those of us who are not used to calculations containing letters as well as numbers. Therefore, I would like to explain to you how this standard SAP calculation works. I'm going to break it down into its component parts. So number one is the 0.8 times number two, which is KWP, which stands for kilowatts peak, times number three, which is S, which is your solar irradiation factor, times number four, which is the ZPV, which is your overshading factor. Number one is a constant that allows the calculation to work across the whole of the UK. Number two is your kilowatts peak. I'm going to explain to you how you find out what your kilowatts peak is. Kilowatts peak, or in English, your system size, tells you how many panels of what, what size. If you have, say, an eight panel system, which is rated at 250 watts per panel, eight times 250 will give you 2,000 watts, or two kilowatts peak. A 10 panel system, of panels rated at 235 watts times 10 by 235 you'll get 2350 watts or a 2.35 kilowatt peak system lots of people are interested in 16 panel systems 16 panels with a with panels rated at 200 watts 16 times 200 will give you 3200 watts or 3.2 kilowatts peak a 4 kilowatt system can be calculated by having 16 panels of 250 watts times 16 by the 250 will give you 4,000 watts or 4 kilowatts peak. Now let's move on to number 3, the solar irradiation factor. This table can be found on the DEC website and it covers the orientation of the collector and the tilt of the collector. The orientation goes from south to north and horizontal and the tilt through 30 degrees to 90 degrees vertical. As you can see, the highest solar irradiation or kilowatts hour per meter squared is south at 30 degrees. As you move off south to southeast or southwest, it drops to 1027, east or west to 813, northeast, northwest to 785, and north is 730. That is kilowatt hours per meter squared of panels. But north, as you can see, is about 70% of south. And a horizontal collector will give you 933 kilowatt hours per meter squared. Again, that is about 90% of what you would get on south. Finally, number four, the ZPV, is your overshading factor. Now, ideally, you want to place panels where there is none or very little shading. So where there's less than 20% shading, you'd apply an overshading factor of 1. Any, any calculation times by 1 remains the same. If you have modest overshading between 20 and 60%, you'd apply an overshading factor of 0.8. Significant shading between 60 and 80%, an overshading factor of 0.65 and heavy shading would reduce your calculation by 50%, so anything over 80%, you'd apply an overshading factor of 0.5. Now that we know how the calculation is comprised, let's look at how that works in real life. So here's our calculation. So we have our constant of 0.8. If we take the original system that we looked at, the two kilowatts peak, we take 0.8 and we times it by two kilowatts peak, then we times that by the orientation, and in this case I've put them on south, but I've given it some uh, modest shading, so I'll put a correction factor of 0.8 in, multiply those four items together, and you'll get 1,373 kilowatt hours a year. If we look at the 10 panel system, which was the 2.35 kilowatts peak, we take 0.8 times 2.35. If that is placed in an east-west orientation but with no overshading we will get 1528 kilowatt hours a year now your 16 panel system or 4 kilowatt system in an ideal world you would have 4 kilowatts facing south you then take your constant of 0.8 times it by 4 for the 4 kilowatts 
times it by 1073 for the southerly orientation, times it by 1 because it has no overshading, that will give you an annual estimated output of 3,434 kilowatt hours per year. Now if you take that identical system and place it in an east-west orientation, your um, solar irradiation factor drops from 1073 to 813, so you take 0.8 times your 4 kilowatts times 813 times 1 for no overshading, you then get 2,602 kilowatt hours a year generated by your solar panel system. I hope this has helped you to understand what the SAP calculation is and what you might be able to get from your roof.